talked in training camp about you still being able to run a 4 3 4 and you've seen your speed on display. What, if any, com- conversations you have with coaching staff that have been along the lines of get me involved, use me as a vertical threat? Zero. Because I'm trusting, you know, I, I trust coach and I just, like I said, trust the process. I'm, I'm not here to let coach know, you know, get me involved or whatnot. That's, you know, that's not my job. My job is to show up. Uh, take the game plan um, and do it the best of my ability to do my job. That's a bet. But mm-hmm. how can you help? Because we've we've heard CD Lamb say, "Put the ball in my hands, yep. and good things are going to happen." Absolutely. S- same things, but trust the process. Did it feel good after Monday to mm-hmm. be able to contribute like you were able to do in that win? Absolutely. Uh, I think just really in general, just to get a win on Monday night, uh, going to the bye uh, with a win under your belt. <laughs> Uh, that's what really felt good. What kind of challenge does the uh, the mobility of Dak, if that becomes mm-hmm. a consistency for the Cowboys offense, what kind of added challenge does that make for defense? Man, I mean, a lot. Because, you know, not only can he attack you uh, with his arm outside the pocket, but he can also run, as we saw, uh, you know, that past Monday night. So anytime we get in those positions, uh, I think that's a, a strength for us, for sure. Brandon, you talk about the process. You've got skins on the wall, years, yards, touchdowns, all that stuff. At what point does saying to someone, whoever whoever it is, hey, here's what I can do, don't forget I'm here, at what point does that become part of the process? Trust the process. <laughs> Trust the process. <laughs> so that's, that's not all part of the process? Do. No, no. no. Uh, I've been around long enough. Uh, when you do that, you start the great people mind, right? You know, you, uh, we, if you go to the quarterback, you go to the coach now, he has another thought on his mind. Uh, like, well, shoot, you know, I got to get him involved because, you know, he may be frustrated. That's not why well, I mean, I'm here to win games. And so, trust the process. <laughs> Dak really, as Patrick brought up, Dak really using his legs throughout the yeah. game and it being a factor. Yeah. It was the first time we'd seen that on mm-hmm. Monday. Mm-hmm. Did the offense seem to maybe have a little bit better flow because of that? Absolutely. Like I said, because now you're talking about he gets outside the pocket. He may run or he may throw. So, anytime you can get the defense guessing, uh, that's going to help your flow of offense for sure. We saw that you gave some motivation to MG when he had to drop and told him to keep going. What all does it mean to you being that bit to help out these young wide receivers? It's, it's huge because obviously uh, it's Evans flows in the game. And what I always tell guys is stay even killed. You know what I mean? Through the great, uh, through the not so good, uh, just stay even killed and don't, don't forget you know who you are and what got you here. So that's what it's all about.